Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Hmm. How are you doing? Wow. Where is my voice? <clears throat> this is Mikali Global TV. How are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, I don't like doing videos when holding my camera like this because I feel like my eyes get directed to one side instead of the middle part so i'm trying to focus on the middle part of the camera anyway so how are you doing guys hey it has been long okay when was the last time i did a video i think maybe i posted like one week or two weeks ago two weeks ago i'm not even sure i'm losing track of time guys i'm looking i'm losing track of time yeah, I think because I've had so much in my mind, but whichever way, I can still afford a smile. Huh? What do I say? <coughs> I'm feeling terrible. <coughs> my chest is not so okay. I don't know if I'm getting a flu, but it's because I traveled. Hmm. One of... This will always be... Um, I don't know what I can call it. One of um, uh, like not memorable really, but um, things that will forever be in my mind. You know, I traveled by bus yesterday from Argesa, and uh, I think the dust affected my eyes kind of. I don't want to keep touching them so much because they'll turn red. Yeah, so the dust and there was a lot of heat also you know it's the dry season right now <clears throat> i don't know if guys you can hear my voice well oh my god i don't have my microphone i don't have anything i literally have nothing with myself <laughs> just myself and my few clothes here you can see that so that handbag is carrying my notebooks and uh, the bag there, the travel bag, only has like, I think two diras and one sweater. Ah, that's the only thing I have there. And my toothbrush and the cough syrup. Yeah, because, what's that? Some piece of cloth. Yeah, and the yeah, toothbrush and what else? Oh, a cough syrup and my let me check let me show you i have this medicine here because my tummy hurts oh my tummy hurts gavi what gavi scone i think it's good with um you can see it with acid and such things in the stomach so it's it's really helping me i'm taking this I'm taking this to ease my tummy ache. I've not been feeling quite well for some time. Yeah, so anyway, that's not the reason why I'm making this video. I just wanted to tell you that I've missed you so, so much. But uh, right now, I'm in a very different place. I can see, maybe you can even see the environment. Oh, let me show you. There's some food that I was served here for breakfast what is this um, wait let me put it here so i took some shower ah, it was nice anyway <laughs> don't judge from the cup this is somali tea and then they brought for me some two breads uh, i don't know i feel like eating but when i start eating my tummy doesn't want any uh, and then we have this what's this some meat yeah that's um <clears throat> what is it called bear 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 is liver in somali it's not bad it's nice but i think maybe it was a lot i took whatever was enough and the onions nice ones i loved them Mmm, crunchy. Oh, let me put this back. So, 
I've decided to keep it there. Maybe they will warm for me. And then I eat later. Because right now I don't feel like eating this some water. Yeah, yesterday I got some water from the bus company that I traveled in. Sahal. You can see that. Sahal transport. I'm, I'm marketing your business, you guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Their buses are good. I love how organized they are in their transport, yes. So, um, I just here in my room this is the room that uh, i've rented for today when is today today is wednesday 2nd november 2022 and um actually i'm in uh, Jigjiga, uh the ethiopian Somali state in Ethiopia. Yeah, I think I've put it in the right way. Oh, please don't judge me for that. So, I mean, Jigjiga, always, I always live with my family. We stay in Hargeisa. That's where we have been working. But mostly, we are Kenyans, yes. So, mostly, we stay in Nairobi when we are in Kenya. But so, right now, I'm just alone, as you can see. And uh, because I'm traveling to Kenya, uh, I had to break the journey from Hargeisa. You cannot travel straight to Kenya by bus in one day. It's a long journey, tiring, stressful. Ooh. If you carry a suitcase with yourself, you will throw the things at the road. I almost did that once because last week, like a week ago, yes, I came to Jigjiga still in Ethiopia because I'm trying to look for a job. You know, so I, I had gotten a job here in Jigjiga <laughs> and I came. Anyway, guys, peace. That's a story for another day. That's a, last, a story for another day. I'll tell you that story and my experience because I had carried two suitcases you know you're reporting for a job so you need your clothes my hijabs my diras my everything like warm clothes because you never know you might go there and it's cold so you cannot start buying clothes afresh and the checkpoints were they are really tough especially when you get to this side of uh Wachale. yeah after Wachale coming to Jigjiga they literally put everything you have down from your suitcase to check literally everything even books like this they removed all these papers opened everything up and down ah <sighs> so that time I really got tired but uh now when I decided to be traveling to Kenya I just go with that tiny but this one is just my clothes these clothes and shoes i've not even removed them open shoes and this one has my toothbrush toothpaste books my notebooks you know because i'm one person who writes a lot you know yeah so so right now i'm in this small room alone not with my family and uh, okay i don't like it so much doesn't look that good but um it's a bit affordable most of the hotels that i got here in uh sorry <coughs> in um Jig -Jiga. <laughs> the funny thing is it's a hotel yes but they don't have food they don't sell food it's only the rooms. Oh my God, I love eating. I love eating. So how do I sleep in a place where I have to go out there, start loitering around, looking for food in a new place? Hmm? So I chose to, okay, the guy then, the, 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 the taxi guy, you know, here mostly they use the, what are they called? the um, tuk-tuks in kenya we call them tuk-tuks here i was told they are called they are called uh, they are called what oh the name is keeping my mind Ma? taxi taxi in ethiopia okay so they use the tuk-tuks mm -hmm. in in nigeria people call them keke 
that's what we see in the Nigerian movies. So that guy was really helpful, really helpful. I think from the bus station where they dropped me, something like that, I took that guy um coincidentally or i don't know god helped me he knows a little bit of english so he i told him i'm trying to look for a place where i can sleep and should be at least near a bus uh, booking office because i'm supposed to travel to addis ababa for the next connection to the border okay i don't know from addis ababa where i'll go but to the border then cross over to kenya yeah because i'm going home i'll tell you the reason later later keep it till here in my youtube channel and we'll know why i had to leave to kenya yeah it was abrupt but um it is something that i had to do for my sanity for my peace for myself so that guy took me round, round, round. We went to several hotels. And in most of the hotels, we could not get um, food. And then the charges were too high. The first hotel we went, it was 1,000, uh, I think 260 beer. So it was very expensive for me, you know. I've never traveled by road and I, I don't have so much money. Uh, so I have to keep the one that I have just in case so that I don't get stuck if I got if I get stuck and I don't have a, a, a Ethiopian line maybe I cannot get Wi-Fi what will I do they might lock me up oh my goodness so we went to the second one in the second one they said um, I think it was around 1600 beer was very expensive only uh, accommodation yeah they have wi-fi they have hot shower but they don't sell food so i went to the third one the fourth one the range was 1000 1000 over 1000 over 1000 so later this guy told me okay because um i had told him i'm not looking for such an expensive hotel and my bus is supposed to be leaving at 2 a.m. in the morning. He decided to take me to a bit far place, not really far from the bus station, but where we could get uh, accommodation for less than a thousand dollars. Not not dollars, a thousand beer, a thousand beer, Ethiopian money. But you have to buy your food. So I told him, okay. So we went around again. He drove around, drove around. We got a place. It has a restaurant. Not not a big place uh, per se, but at least a place that you can sleep. It's a single bed. Yeah, you can see. This is a single bed here for me. Then there's a chair there, no table. And then that is the bathroom. Oh, this is the main door, yes. This is the main door. Then here, this side, is the bathroom. Maybe I'll get in there and show you how the bathroom looks. Just one minute. Hey! Let me show you the bathroom. Here, 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 here. Here, oh! There. That's the bathroom. That's the toilet. They do sleepers there. <laughs> they love the sleepers. Okay, and then what? There's a mirror. You can see the mirror. And uh, there's the shower. I'm trying to hit the water, but I don't know this thing how it operates. So you put it on here. I'm trying to heat the water. You can see it's on. I put it on there. Switch on here. Off. Yeah, and then they have what else? Oh, the shower is here. Where you the, the shower head there. And a place here. This one for hooking your clothes. Mm -hmm. So guys, basically, 
That is it. That's the the room that I'm spending my night today in. So that I can oh continue with my journey tomorrow to uh, this other but yeah this is I had to put this thing here. Oh my jacket is that here for my job. Oh. My clothes there, some charging pot. Yeah. So yeah, that's the room and uh, they have a net. This is the net. Though I did not like their walls, I think they have been uh, affected by water. Too much water, maybe when it rains. You can see the wall from here. Look at that. Not so good. But from here, I can at least have a view of uh, Ethiopia a bit. I don't know if you can see. Yeah from from where i am so i'll show you a little bit of that in a different clip you know from my window from my window yeah so yeah i'll be heading to kenya and uh when i arrive safely inshallah we will talk more i will uh tell you a few things about myself <laughs> yeah sure so just did this video to say hi to know how you people are doing to appreciate your support in my supporting my youtube channel here i'm just trying to do a few one two three things you can see i have it's my second phone so here i'm doing some some little bit of one two three there are some issues that are pressing me and uh, that's why i'm going to kenya to sort them out and um yeah so i have to check out some few one two three things from my my notebooks here and put my life myself in order it reaches that point where you just call yourself for a meeting talk to yourself think about everything and decide what you want for yourself and um <laughs> give yourself that room to to be human you know give yourself that room to be human mm, maybe if need be cry cry over everything cry let those emotions out and then decide the next step yes so that's what I'm doing with myself now. The crying phase is over. I've done that for some time. And I think now I am a bit stronger to face the reality on the ground, face the issues on the ground, and decide on the next step to take. Yep, so when I reach in Nairobi, if I will be able to go into my house, <laughs> because the house has issues, if I'll be able to go there, maybe i will try and do another video i'll talk to you people and then i'll tell you more from there so i love you so much oh my god i am gonna miss my youtube family if my circumstance as of now will force me to maybe stay offline for some time i might i might i don't know i might stay offline no posting no videos nothing just me and or building my life afresh you know if that happens oh my god i will surely miss you so much especially my hargeisa people i loved somaliland and uh going back there two weeks ago i uh i imagined i would keep things running you know and do more amazing videos especially now like i'm in ethiopia honestly and i didn't know which hotels to stay i didn't know like the hotels here just give bed and only that no food nothing you know that's why we need more videos of africa so that people coming in into our countries visitors tourists they can be able to know when i reach in this city i can be able to check myself into this nice affordable amazing place not just moving round 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 and oh 
can be very irritating anyway that's enough for today i don't want to talk too too much i need to do my little calculations here and uh, as i wait for 2 a.m because that's when my bus leaves next then inshallah we will keep in touch i love you so much guys and uh, remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed if you are a new subscriber welcome so much to my youtube channel <laughs> don't be heartbroken that i might go missing um in the youtube family for some time no i'll always be here i will try to always be here when i feel that the energy is right okay thank you so much so have a nice time from wherever you're watching me from this is mikali global tv and i treasure you so much bye bye guys Mwah.